Alright guys and gals, um, I'm back with a brand new um, and we have a Python movement system all set up and working. I'm not going to show you too much of it uh, this way because it's jerky and it doesn't really show you much, but you know it's all the stuff you would expect. Iron sight, running, jumping. These are all very basic animations, they don't look great, crouching, that sort of thing. So um, that's pretty much that. I'll probably have a, should have a link, yeah I'll have a link to uh, download it and you know, test it, see if I missed anything. But we're just going to go over a little bit of the Python and how things um, are set up. First off, um, <clears throat> I created my own sort of rig here based off the other FPS rig that we had done earlier. Looked at earlier, I should say. <clears throat> I have this um, cylinder here that's uh, physics type dynamic, no sleeping. And the translation rotation set, collision mask, and convex hole. Um, although the, we may change that to triangle mesh. Um, the crouch animation works right now, but um, the actual um, crouch mesh doesn't really work. I'm working on that, and that might require some real tinkering. But all right, whatever. Um, then we have our four ground sensors in there, and then we have our um, FPS.knees right there, that's our that's where we animate our crouch at. And then we have my FPS camera and my arms collision box and then I have um, my armature and my arms shotgun uh, shotgun armature. So fairly um, straightforward. Um, let me see, these are just empties right here. Uh, this one and the four ground sensors are just empties and nothing special really. <clears throat> Alright, let's go into game logic here. Oh, uh, one note, if you watched my previous quick tutorial about visual location, I scrapped that entire thing and I just went to basic location rotation. If you didn't see it, great, it'll probably be deleted by this time this one's up. <laughs> so, um, <clears throat> I'm still having some issues, but we're working through those together. Um, one of the issues is, which I'm trying to get an answer on on the forum. So far, nothing. Um, I'm doing Shift G, by the way. I select, I grouped this all. I made Control G after I selected all of them and made them a group or added them to the group. Um, you can do that under the Object tab here, Add to Group. But once you have one of the objects of the group selected, Shift G, do Group, boom, you have the entire group. And one of the issues you will run into, it will break, is if you just move it like that and then hit play and then move and as you can see those arms well you might be able to see those arms are now in the wrong position they moved and it doesn't make me happy so oh well um, anyway so back to this I tried like I think apply rotation and scale and that that didn't work so I think before, what I had to do was, I think, I don't know if I said this in my other tutorials or not, I think I might have, is do delta transformations, um, which I don't want to keep doing, because apparently I have to do them for every single animation for them all to work, which is ridiculous, quite frankly. Um, although, it seems like some of those were working correctly, so I'll... I'll just have to figure out what's going on there. Because I think some of them are only rotation, but whatever. The point is, don't know. Um, so let's go into our game logic here. Alright. And this is not not that bad. I mean, honestly, these... Yeah, the, oh, hey. Oh yeah, single fire. There you go. Um, I haven't worked on this yet, but I will have a sound and all that for the shotgun sound. I'm working on getting that all worked up. Um, one of the things I also was planning on eventually getting was um, a head bob. Um, you know, you see that m all the popular FPS games today, the head kind of bobs with you as you move. It can probably be... Uh, I actually don't think I can simulate it like that, but anyway. Um, it, I'm working on it. I'm going to have to get the Python written for it, but just uh, I'm probably just going to have a small animation on the camera and then just play that animation uh, in the Python script pretty much whenever I'm moving and maybe increase it when I'm running so but that's for another tutorial so um, 
Let's see, let's go back to our game logic. Essentially, if we just have everything um, for this, everything goes to the walk uh, animation. Um, and then from there, our floor move is to the body box, which is what I have currently selected. And the rest is to our arms rig, which is our arms armature. And that's the few animations we're playing. Idle, run, walk, and that's it. Um, oh, and crouch up and crouch down, which are on the FPS knees. So those are the other, other animations I play. Um, so this is not entirely Python, and I think eventually I probably will move it to entirely Python, but because it allows more control. But you know what? For now, I think we're good. And then for the priorities on these, I had to kind of play around with it. So I have the idle priority as one. The run is two and walk is three, and that seems to work fairly well. And then just to blend in of five frames for each one. Uh, all these are layer zero. So um, in the uh, script that I'll show you, I do have layer one for my iron sight, so that doesn't conflict with my other animations. That's how I did it. So the visual location rotation, or along with uh, what I had before. So all right, now let's um, dig in a little bit deeper. Um, the parenting situation. So I have these four sensors are parented to the body box and I have the body box origin down there just because I liked it that way. Uh, no real reason. Maybe I'll change that in the future. I don't know if it's important in the game engine at least. Um, and then the FPS knees is parented to the is a child of the body box as well and the camera is a child of the um, FPS knees. Um, and <clears throat> yes, so and uh, since I'm using the mouse script that I had before, the mouse look uh, dot pi, <clears throat> I had to change a few things in this one because the camera is not parented directly to the thing I wanted moving. So <clears throat> from the FPS knees, they are the one that have the cap integer, and that that tells me how much I can rotate up and down so I can't just uh, if I hit play I can't look all the way down you know it stops it or and I can't look all the way up it stops at a certain limit right there that's what the cap is for so pretty much all of those are <coughs> things on the FS needs excuse me well, I had to add this one right here use parent boolean um, and check that to true and that's if I didn't do that it didn't rotate correctly when this was uh, was moved so all right, so the D move is on there, and then I just have some of these variables for um, some of this we covered before for running, iron sight, J state. So let's get on to the, the nitty gritty stuff. So let me pull up this here. So, and this is heavily commented, so it'd be great if I'll, you can download it and uh, go from there. So, blah, 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 usually stuff. Getting our sensors, um, getting our actuators here. Uh, head bob, which we don't have, that's why it's commented out. Um, getting the owner of our crouch and getting the owner of our. I didn't really. Getting the owner of our arms armature. And um, our run state is just uh, if we are currently running. Fairly, fairly simple. <clears throat> um, this is just the loop that um, if we jump will pop out of this loop go back into this loop and I need to make sure that um, if we are crouched or we are iron sighted in we need to set our speed to one else our speed is two so if we come out of a jump with those we need to make sure it's working correctly and then our jump speed is zero of course square root of two over two just the variable that defines our diagonal movement I haven't covered this for this is our main <clears throat> loop Fitting those sensors are within 0.54 uh, blending units of the ground, give user control over the motion, etc. <clears throat> this is where things change up a little bit. This is my iron set right here. If we're holding down, I made it right mouse button. If we're holding down the right mouse button and we are not currently sighted in, so if we're pressing the right mouse button and not sighted in and not running, because you, you can't iron sight and run at the same time. But, I mean, it just makes sense, you know. So if you hold down the iron sight button while you're running, nothing actually happens. So um, you can hold it down and then let down the shift, and then you go 
you know, go back your arms will go forward and then into the iron side thing right away, so that's that's nice. Um I'm gonna decrease our speed because if you're iron sighted in, I only want you to be able to go one you know, one speed, not two. Um now this is a new one that I had to dig through the <clears throat> Blender game engine um API and I was getting confused about how to use these, so it took me a while, but Essentially, the current frame of the animation, this is what I, I just made a variable called curve frame, equals own arms, which we set up here, uh, the owner of the idle animation, which is, you know, I just chose that at random. I mean, it was part of the own arms set of animations. And just get action frame. So we're getting the current frame of action that's playing right now. So if it's on frame two, you know, um, that's what current frame will be equal equal to frame two. So, and then I used um, it's called a play action right here. Another great Blender <clears throat> API, and it directly plays an action. That's why I don't see Iron Sight in my logic bricks. They're not in my logic bricks at all. I don't want them in there because it just doesn't work very well. So, we're playing FPS dot arms dot S gun dot Iron Sight. So, shotgun Iron Sight. Current frame is whatever frame we're currently at, and then we're going to go to frame. Uh, 10. Uh, so, and then the rest is, I think this is blend in, and I believe this this one of those is layer. You'll have to look it up in the API. And then this is the type of playing it's doing. It's not doing ping pong. It's just doing regular play. It's not doing any of the other ones. It's not doing loop or anything. Uh, so it just directly plays the animation from the current frame to frame 10, sighted in. So, essentially, this allows me to, um, if I'm sighted in and I let off, if, I, if I'm if i iron sighted in, I let off the right mouse button and it starts going back, if at a certain point I hit the right mouse button again, it's going to go back into iron sight. Um, it's kind of like a, boy, it's kind of like a bungee cord, you know, you go so far and bam, it'll, uh, it'll swing back, or if we go too far, it'll, um, it'll go all the way down and then go back again, or no, it won't. It'll... It'll always come back to that from there, but uh, let's say we're also we're back at our regular and we're not sighted in, uh, and we hit the button until we get all the way there. If we let go of the right mouse button, it'll go back to our regular arm state. If that makes any sense, boy, that was confusing. All right, if we are not pressing right mouse and we are sighted in. Yeah, because we need to be sighted in and we are not running. We're going to set our state to set it out. Uh, glad I made this video because, you know, I I, th I did upload this already for people to test. And I didn't comment that right. But, oh, well. Um, speed 2, increase our speed, current frame, etc. Same, same old, same old. Uh, if left control positive and w we did the crouch thing, pretty sure. I kind of change this to one massive loop right here. This is our walk and run all in one. So if we're moving forward or backward or left or right, and we, um, so we can't hold down the shift button and just start running. We have to actually hold down forward, backwards, left or right. So if shift up positive, if we're holding down the run button, speed up, set our state to running, speed up. And then I had to add this as well. If we are currently sighted in, because let's say I'm sighted in on my gun and I and I start running, you know, well I can't that can't happen. So I have to check to see if we are sighted in and then play the action from frame 10, because I'll just play it from the top frame to less frame so that we sight it all the way out. So um, I'm gonna deactivate walk, deactivate idle, and then activate the run animation right there. And if we're crouched, now we're going to the crouch thing right here. Um, if we're crouched, this could probably be moved up past those. That might be less confusing. I don't know, but if we're crouched, um, stand up and start running. If we are not running, um, so if shift positive or if not shift positive, set our state to not running. Um, if we and if we are pressing the iron side button, we're going to set our state to start it, set our state to set it in. Uh, adjust our speed, get current frame, and play it from 10 to 1. So, this, if I'm reading this right, <laughs> this allows us to iron sight in and out while we're walking. So, fair enough. <clears throat>
Um, so we'll deactivate idle, deactivate run, and activate walk. And this is just our... Um, I want the walk animation to play when I'm going backwards and forwards or diagonal, but not when I'm going left and right. So that's just forward positive. If we're going forward or backward, or if we're going um, forward or backward and left or right, we can do the walk. I bet you I could combine those somehow, maybe. I could probably just pop another or on there. Whatever. Um, and then if we're going straight left or right with not going forward or backward at all, I want to play the idle animation. So, And then we're calculating our speed again. Blah, 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 if we aren't jumping. Then we're setting on our actuator, which is a floor move. Uh, that's setting the variables up there. Our forward speed, side speed, jump speed, blah, blah, blah. Um, if we are not idle, that is not doing that is doing anything, if we're doing anything, um, if we're crouched and I think not holding jump or run, then we're going to deactivate idle and activate walk. Um, and this is basically activates our floor move. So, And if we're jumping, if we're jumping it's going to activate our falling animation, which I currently don't have, so it's just an idle animation right now. So. So that is basically the FPS script right there, uh, motion script, I should say. So um, we did learn a few things, current frame right there, very nice, and uh, on arms play action, that's a very useful thing there. So there's a lot of good stuff in the Blender API, it's kind of hard to figure out, but once you get into it, it works fairly well. So all right, I think that pretty much, not sure why I did that, pretty much um, wraps this up. Uh, maybe I'll post a video of just the movement script when I'm running around the little maze I made um, if it's easy to figure out how to get this to move. So, all right, that should be about it.